Good day everyone, welcome to this new episode. Today I'm gonna talk about the rod holders I use at Queen's Peak Pier. A big shout out to Malcolm Robertson who's requested that I show him what my rod holder setup is at Queen's Peak. Before we begin, let me introduce my two egg rods to help with achieving long casting distance. To the right of the screen is the 9 foot NS Black Hole Blackwater paired with the Vanford Drill and 16 ply Gosen. To the left is my 8 foot 9 Shimano Sephira with a Stradic CI4 reel and 8 ply Gosen. So, why do I need to use custom rod holders at Queenscliff Pier? That's because I use three long poles. The two blue ones are 8 meters long, whereas the seal star at the bottom is 7 meters long. Although Queenscliff Pier have built-in rod holders, they have been set up or fixed to point upwards. This is a great disadvantage as strong winds can push your G towards the pylons causing it to snag. Having a custom rod holder enables one to adjust the angle of the poles. When it is low tide, you can tip your pole further down and you do the reverse when it is high tide. When the wind is gusty, a tip pole keeps your jig in its place and prevents it from tangling with the other lines or with the pylon. These are the F-clamps I use. You can also use a C-clamp. However, the minimum mouth opening should be 16 centimeters, as the lumber at the back of the shed is thicker. This C-clamp doesn't meet the required mouth opening. I then have these hollow square tubes with screw hole midway. Having a screw hole midway enables me to secure and adjust the tilting of the poles. Here in this instance is where you can see a screw that is inserted midway. Tighten to set desired height. Loosen to adjust. I'm not sure if your local hardware store have a similar item for sale. The next component are this Y and inverted J metal rods. They were taken and cut from metal hooks. These next components are the bent screws. They have been bent for easy turning without needing the use of tools. The next step was to weld these square hollow tubes to both ends of the F clamp. I would like to thank my mate Senen for doing a wonderful welding job. So once done, you are ready to mount your inverted J and uh, Y metal wires or rods. As mentioned earlier, it is important that your rod holder be able to adjust the tilt of the pole because at the front and the rear end of the shed, the angle of the pole should be steep. And if you find yourself at the lowest platform on the pier, there is no need to tilt as your pole is almost parallel to the water surface. So now, this will set in place the actual height of the wire which determines the angle of your pole. The advantages of having a bent screw is that you don't need to carry a screwdriver to move this around. You can just twist this by your hand. The disadvantage though is when you have this and you have your pole sitting, this will scratch your pole. So what I would normally do is twist this around like that, twist it the opposite way, then tighten so that whenever I move my rod or the pole, it doesn't scratch it. So if you can see from here, I've got several so many scratches on my pole. So if you see what I mean. If you 
try and move your jig you have less of a scratch on your pole caused by this awkward screw which points to the which would point to the other direction and then if you move to the front you've also got this screw to set in place the height of your front y wire you can also do a p setup of the screw but this the disadvantage is that when you got this lower this y wire low this will actually scratch your pole and it may even break your pole so i would definitely advise the use of the bent one so this is my setup for this lift here Alright, thanks for watching. Feel free to message me if you have any questions. Thanks guys.